Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Today guys, I want to talk about the, the greatest mechanical chronograph of our time. The greatest mechanical chronograph of our time. And I gotta tell you, fuckaroonies, fuckaroonies, fuckaroonies. Okay guys, the greatest mechanical chronograph of our time. Now this is a very, very interesting thing here. So what is it? What is it? And I gotta be honest with you, we have to, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a piece which is automatic. It's gotta be automatic. I know the Lange 1815 chronograph is amazing, it's manual wine. The Patek 5170, yes, 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 but it's got to be a piece which is automatic. I'm sorry, fuckaroonies. It's got to be a piece that's automatic. And it's got to be a piece which is under 20,000 US dollars. Okay? So, let's have a talk about that. So, immediately, the fact that it's automatic, it throws out the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. The Moon Watch. Unfortunately, yes, it's manual wind. Um... It's got to be automatic. So when we start talking about automatic chronographs, uh, we start thinking to ourselves, two heavy hitters. Two big heavy hitters are the Hoyer Monaco, Hoyer Monaco, and the Zenith El Primero. El Primero Chronomaster. Chronomaster. Now, guys, what happened with these two pieces? Well, it was 1969, fuckers. Not everyone was at Woodstock smoking dope, fuckers. No, there were some very busy Swiss fuckers. And the race was on to have the first, the world's first, automatic chronograph. And uh, it's quite interesting. Zenith had developed the El Primero movement which uh, was going to be, it was built from the base up as a chronograph, whereas Hoya was working with a consortium, and they were basically adding a module to an existing automatic movement. So, i got to be honest with you, module systems, it's okay, but it ain't no fucking cigar. It ain't no cigar, fuckers. That's right. I think, in all honesty... Uh, the module system, it's the same thing. I mean, even with AP, AP uses a lot of module chronographs in their uh, Royal Oak Offshore series. But hey, fucker Rooney's, I'm sorry, it's got to be engineered into it. And that's why I got to, I got to award it to the Zenith, the Zenith El Primero. And I'm uh, getting confused upside down with that left hand. Uh, Hoya there, but uh, the Zenith El Primero, that's correct, the El Primero. This is the greatest chronograph of all time. This is a, now why is it so great? Well, it has to be in-house hot horology. We can't be using someone else's movement in our watch. And actually, to actually be honest there, Zenith did actually sell a detuned version of this movement to Rolex. That's correct. Rolex, industry leader in luxury wristwatches. Now, Zenith themselves there. Let's discuss this. Zenith themselves there. The El Primero Chronomaster, 1969. This piece here is, it's got its... It's got a movement which was built to be a chronograph, an automatic chronograph, fuckers. It also, it is a high beat. High beat means that it ticks at a faster rate. So normal watches are about 28,000. These Zeniths, 36, fuckers, 36. So the, the idea of this is, is that it aids the accuracy 
of the watch. That's the whole reason for the high beat movement. Now, I got to tell you, the Zenith itself there, it is, it is probably the leading, the greatest chronograph of all time. Now, the problem is Zenith hasn't been the best marketer. They haven't been the, uh, they haven't done, you know, they, 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 they were an independent, they concentrated on their, their unique selling position. And unfortunately, some of the conglomerates kind of overtook them. But Zenith itself, they make the greatest chronograph. They make the greatest automatic chronograph under $20,000. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, the price of a Zenith El Primero is damn amazing. It's damn amazing. It's an amazing piece of engineering, amazing piece of kit, and all in-house, fuckers. It's all in-house, and the retail prices, I don't know how they do it. They do, This is quite reasonably priced, high-beat automatic chronograph, Zenith. The greatest chronograph maker. Now, it's a bit of an obscure brand. It's a bit of an obscure brand. But they really, they really revolutionized the Swiss industry with their integrated automatic. Jack Hoyer was shocked when he heard about Zenith. He was absolutely shocked when he heard about Zenith bringing out an integrated chronograph. And uh, the race was on. And it's a very, very interesting factor. Some people say it was Seiko, uh, which had a chronograph in Japan. Some people say it was Zenith, which actually had, they were the first to reveal this information in a trade journal. And then you've got uh, Hoya Conglomerate. with uh, They had a few partners working to get this thing uh, up and running. There, there's, there's, there's different arguments as to who was first but i gotta tell you i think the best the sexiest execution we can't we're all snobs we can't give the japanese points and theirs wasn't a luxury chronograph was it wasn't luxury no we gotta give it to the fucking zenith the greatest sports chronograph under twenty thousand us dollars it's amazing bang per buck and uh, I got to tell you, fucking amazing chronograph. It is the greatest. It, it, it walks. It shits all over a Daytona. It shits all over a lot of heavy hitting fuckers. The Zenith Chronomaster El Primero. El Primero, fuckers. El Primero. I got to tell you, the greatest. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you lousy fuckers think of that. Guys, it's really dishonest to jump into bed with garbage. It's really dishonest. It's really dishonest. I mean, I, I've been approached hundreds of times by shitter brands. I said no. I said no. No shitters. No shitters. So just remember that when you're picking your YouTube gurus, don't always go for the one who everything's wonderful, everything's great. Because it ain't the case. It ain't all fucking wonderful. Oh, and don't forget, fuckeroonies, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And don't forget to mention the Archie Luxury Travel Channel. That's where I'm doing live shows, fuckers. Yeah.